Hey everybody, I'm Lisa Roberry, your independent Sensi consultant. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is one I am so, so excited for. It's one I look forward to twice a year, and it is the Bring Back My Bar Sniff Session. I am so excited because my bars just arrived, and that means it is time for this video. So I have not had a chance to sniff through all of these. Um, well, I, <laughs> I shouldn't say that because obviously Bring Back My Bar means these scents were all pretty previously available. So yes, I have smelled the vast majority of these, but this time around, this is going to be our first sniffs. <laughs> so um, in case you are new here or new to Scentsy, hello and welcome. Bring Back My Bar is something that Scentsy does twice a year where we are given the opportunity, not consultants, but everybody. If you've got internet access, you have the ability to vote your favorite scents to come back twice a year and then they pick the top 25 most popular scents that are available to be voted back and then they are brought back for that month so uh the next bring back my bar month starts june 1st 2022 and i am so excited because this lineup is incredible and there's several of these are gonna have to be added to my club and you guys probably already saw the damage that Scentsy Club does to me. <laughs> if you didn't have a chance to see that, I will link that video down below in the description. That is something that so many people ask, ask me about is what's all in your club and all of that. So I did a whole like Scentsy Club haul. So be sure to check that out. But um, yeah, so bring back my bar. <laughs> Oh my goodness. And you might be wondering, well, when do we vote? Um, so typically the voting is like the month after like following the bring back my bar promotion. So during the month of June, we have our, our chance to go ahead and pick up these bars that we are going to sniff through here together today. Um, and then starting, I think it's going to be in July when the voting, um, opens back up for the next bring back my bar, which will be in January, 2023. 2023. We're already saying 2023, which is so crazy. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right in because you guys already know I'm a talker and there are 25 cents that we are going to be sniffing through here together. So let's go ahead and get started. So like I said, there's 25 bars that we are going to be sniffing through. All 25 of these bars are going to be available starting June 1st. Um, you can bundle all of these bars together if you are like, hey, this entire lineup sounds amazing. Sign me up. All, you can get all 25 bars for $126, that is US pricing, or you can bundle your bars just like normal, $6 each, um, or you can do three bars for $17, or the best deal, which is buy five, get the six for free, which is the six bar bundle for uh, six bars for $30. So, but at the end of this video, after I've had a chance to refresh my sniffer and refresh my memory, I will give you my top should I give you my top six? I should give you my top six because this is a really good lineup. So, okay. First one we're going to start off with Bamboo Yuzu. Pretty green wax. And this one I have smelled before. There are a few of these that I'm like, oh, I don't remember what that smells like. Or I think there might be one that I've never smelled. So I'm really excited. Okay. So Bamboo Yuzu, I have smelled before and it's good. It's good. It's clean and green kind of this along the same lines as like prickly pear and agave. Um, yeah, I would say it's more along those lines, like prickly pear and agave, kind of same vibes as sea salt and avocado, where it's like clean and green, but not necessarily like lemon type clean. So really, really nice. And let me go ahead and read you the description on this. So bamboo yuzu is described as imagine a Japanese garden as you breathe in dewy bamboo, tranquil lotus flower and fresh yuzu with hints of sage. So I feel like I feel like they pretty much nailed that. It's really good. Um, I don't remember scent performance on this one. Um, I remember I've smelled it before, but it wasn't like I remember like warming it or anything and I don't remember the performance, but it smells like it's gonna be a nice scent. So that is Bamboo Yuzu, available June 1st during Bring Back My Bar. Okay, next one. This is gonna be so hard for me, you guys. So Buckleberry. Buckleberry is so good. And honestly, this is more of like, I usually love this more during the fall and winter months. And this actually was in my club for a really long time. And then it just came time when I had to make some cuts and this just didn't make it. So... <laughs> I might have to re-add it. We'll have to see. 
gosh, it's so good. This is so good. It's sweet. A sweet cranberry. You get a little bit of that fall spice in there. It's so nice. And this is definitely one that I, I know why I added it to my club because it is so good. And it stayed in my club for a really long time. So let's go ahead and describe this. <laughs> so, and I, by the way, I'm not, I'm, I'm reading these descriptions with you kind of live. I guess obviously I've read these descriptions before, but I didn't like refresh my memory before, um, before this. Cause I want to give you my honest, um, opinions on what I feel like stuff smells like and not like refresh my memory on anything, but that's very apparent here. Buckleberry is described as a bite of summer's bounty bursting fresh berries atop a buttery blanket of crumbly coffee cake. <laughs> so this is considered very summery and I, I would beg to differ. <laughs> um, I definitely think I do get the, the sweetness. I honestly get, get it's more like cranberry rather than like summer berries. I get more cranberry. Let me know if you agree or not, if you've smelled this before. It's really nice, but for me, this is definitely more fall. I'm not mad about it. I'm really happy. I love this scent. I think it's absolutely incredible. I just, I pick up some spice. I pick up some like cranberry. So it, it's giving me more fall vibes, but it's good. It's really, really good. So buckleberry. Okay. Next one is enchanted mist. And this is more of a creamy color wax. And this one, I do remember, I remember this is really nice. It's kind of fruity floral, like tropical fruity floral. And I remember it was kind of light and I feel like it's going to be light again. <laughs> so we'll see. Enchanted Mist is romantic blend of juicy apples uh, enhanced and sweetened by rose petals and rich jasmine. So there you go. So it is not necessarily fruity, but it's more specifically apple floral, but it's really pretty. And yeah, now that I know it, it is definitely apple that's coming through. And Sensi does such a good job with the apple scents and that floral. It's, it, it is on the back end. I don't feel like it's too powdery but it's really pretty. It's a nice balance between sweet and floral. So um, I definitely would say it's worth giving a try. So uh, Enchanted Mist, and who knows, maybe if this was stronger, the floral might be too much because floral can be overdone very easily. So I don't know, there's Enchanted Mist for you. Okay, <gasps> next one. This one was also in my club. <laughs> And I don't even remember cutting it, to be honest. So that's probably going to have to make its way back, especially because the lemon drizzle cake was not what I was really hoping or expecting. Um, lemon coconut chiffon, you guys. If you love a lemon bakery scent, a lemon cake kind of scent, you're going to need to pick this one up. You're going to need to add this to your club. Oh, it's just as good as I remember. <laughs> it's so good. It is so nice. It is lemon bakery. It's almost like a lemon pound cake rather. And it is so, so good. And I do remember that the performance on this was really, really great too. Sorry. <laughs> Let me turn this off here. Okay. Um, yeah, it's so good, you guys. Oh, I love this. And I'm probably going to have to add it back into my club here. So let me go ahead and read you the description on this be besides the fact that is that it is delicious and lemony and perfect in every single way. Uh, lemon coconut chiffon is described as melt in your mouth, lemon custard layered with butter cake and sprinkled with toasted coconut. So yeah, if you are someone who you want something lemon bakery, but you don't want a ton of coconut. I really don't get a ton of coconut from this. I feel like I maybe get hints of it. Um, and I feel like it just maybe adds to the sweetness uh, of the lemon rather than smelling straight up coconut. That's just me personally. So, oh my gosh, you guys, lemon coconut chiffon. I am so excited. I need to be making like a separate pile over here. Okay. <gasps> okay. Next one <laughs> is root beer float. I'm going to give you two guesses and the first one doesn't count of what this smells like. <laughs> yep. It totally smells just like a root beer float. You get 
all root beer float. All root beer. There you have it. And th this is one, it's, it's very specific. <laughs> so if you like the way root beer smells, then this is totally gonna be your jam. Um, here we go. So root beer float is described as concoction of old fashioned root beer and creamy vanilla ice cream. I don't get a ton of the vanilla. It's just straight root beer but probably when it's warming, maybe more of that vanilla comes out, but you can totally play around with like, maybe if you wanna add a little more vanilla to this to kind of like mellow out the root beer, um, cause it smells like it's gonna be strong. <laughs> um, you can maybe add a cube of vanilla bean buttercream if you wanted to, but definitely a fun, fun scent to have. So root beer float. Okay, next one is Berry of Paradise. And I do remember this one. I believe this was a scent of the month back in the day. Um, and yeah, this is exactly what I remember. This is like, I think it's straw. I, you know what this smells like to me, to be totally honest, it kind of smells like strawberry plastic. <laughs> it's, it, there is like a plasticky or kind of waxy note to this, but it is definitely strawberry forward. But it, it, if you're looking for this, this is not like, or if you're looking for a strawberry scent, it's not your like authentic strawberry scent that you typically will get from like strawberry rose or coastal strawberry or sugared strawberry. Like those are very authentic strawberry scents. This is more like artificial strawberry, I feel like. Let's see what sense he says. <laughs> They're, that's probably gonna be way off of the description here. Berry of Paradise, scrumptious sugared strawberry, bird of paradise, and vanilla bean. So yeah, I think kind of think along the same lines, strawberry swirl kind of. Strawberry swirl, that vanilla is definitely in there, but it, like that you do, it's kind of a, the same type of strawberry scent. So, um, but yeah, it is, it's good. It's very, it's very sweet. And, but I'm here for the sweet strawberry scents, no matter if it's authentic or like a sugared type strawberry. So really good. So we've got Berry of Paradise. Okay, next one. <laughs> this one actually is in my club. It stays in my club. It will stay there forever and ever and ever. And it is Caramel Vanilla Delight. So good. I am so so excited for my vanilla lovers to be able to give this one a try because it is delicious. Ah, uh, it's so good. It's so rich and sweet. It's like, it's a vanilla ice cream and I always stick to this description. It's a vanilla ice cream, like rich vanilla buttercream with that rich sweet caramel just drizzled over top and it's just, it's amazing. It's amazing. It's just the, the perfect balance between caramel and vanilla. It's so, so good. So caramel vanilla delight. Let me tell you what Sensei says about this. Well, this, this could be, <laughs> this could be why this description sticks in my mind. Um, honestly, I thought it was because on the bricks of this, I do have a couple bricks left. This was actually, this scent first came to, um, as a holiday brick promotion. So this was just a limited time scent as a brick when it first was released. Um, and I'll always remember that they had like ice cream cones on the, on the front of the clamshell ice cream cones with vanilla and like a caramel drizzle. So that's like embedded in my mind every time I smell this. So caramel vanilla delight is described as vanilla ice cream, liquid caramel, and a splash of white rum. I don't get any boozy note from this. It's literally just that like vanilla bean ice cream with that caramel drizzle over top. It's just so good. <laughs> so, so good. Okay. Next one is flower child and flower child. I do remember. I remember really liking it. I think maybe in the beginning when Scentsy Club was a thing, I think this was in my club. Um, but then I think I just, over time, I just, someone at some point is gonna get the boot, right? So um, I do remember, I think this was like a sweet floral, I believe, but I do, I do remember really liking it. Yes, this is beautiful. And honestly, if this was a perfume, I would absolutely wear this. This is so pretty, just a sweet floral, totally perfumey and sweet and done perfectly, I feel like. So this is described as sweet red berries layered over wild gardenia and sandalwood, which is interesting because usually gardenia scents are too, too floral, too powdery for me, but the sweet red berries 
mixed with the sandalwood, I feel like it's just, it's a really good balance. So, oh, it's so good. Oh, it's so pretty. This is such a pretty like perfumey kind of scent. Beautiful flower child. Oh, I'm gonna have to give you my top 10. Oh. <sighs> this one too. Oh my gosh, you guys, this lineup is so good. <laughs> Love and happiness. This scent, this scent, I don't think this was around, last time this one was around, I don't think Scentsy Club was a thing. And I know I like was hoarding some bars of this. And again, I remember it being like a really pretty kind of sweet floral. Um, oh man, love and happiness. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> it's so, so good. This is another one. It's sweet and it's a sweet floral kind of, it's perfumey. Flower Child is a little bit lighter. Oh, it's so good, so good. Um, a little bit, this is a little sweeter. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh man, these these smells are just taking me back. <laughs> these smells are taking me back. I'm so excited that like, I guess I've been with Scentsy long enough to have smelled the vast majority of these. So it's like taking me back in Scentsy time and I'm, I'm just, I'm here for it. So Love and Happiness is described as glazed chestnut, vanilla and sugar cane define, de, define temptation. I don't know about chestnut. The, I, chestnuts don't smell like this. <laughs> I mean, no, I mean, no chestnuts I've smelled, I've smelled like this. This is so pretty. Vanilla, it's not, um, it's not a bakery vanilla. This is definitely perfumey in, in my opinion. Think sweet floral kind of perfumey. I feel like if you like sugar, if you if you like the the sm the the scentsy scent sugar, I feel like you'll really like this too. Oh, really pretty, love and happiness. This is going in my club. Oh my gosh, one two three four five. I'm already at five, and we are not halfway through yet. <laughs> so okay, next one. I know this one's this one's good, but it's not gonna make my like must have list. So simply irresistible. Simply Irresistible is, I remember this was more of a masculine kind of cologne scent. So if that's more your thing, um, I think you're really gonna like this one. Yes, this is exactly what I remember. Um, yeah, just total like cologne type scent. Um, it's really nice, it's clean, it's fresh, and, and kind of cologne -y. So Simply Irresistible, this is described as Lavender with a strong woody background of amber, moss, and musk. So, but it's not like super lavender forward, I feel like. Definitely woody, moss and musk. Um, yeah, so, cologne <laughs> This smells like a cologne. Good, but definitely more like masculine cologne so simply irresistible. Okay, next one is blackberry orange marmalade. And this one I remember, but I it's not like, I don't remember a lot about it. So I feel like it's not gonna be that exciting. Just from what I remember, just from what I remember. It's good. It is good. This is totally what I was expecting. It's good. Um, I feel like there's even like, um, like a berry, this almost smells like a berry lemonade. I feel like there's a lemon note to this, which is really nice. That kind of like cuts the sweetness. Yeah, this, yeah. This smells like a berry lemonade to me. I feel like this is not titled, named correctly. <laughs> Just berry lemonade. So let's see what Sensei says about that. Orange marmalade and blackberry jam over sugar crystals. So I am totally wrong. <laughs> blackberry orange marmalade. But this, it's the citrus. The citrus in there kind of cuts the sweetness of the blackberry and it's cit citrus and, and fruity just, just goes really well together. Okay, coconut vanilla orchid. This is another one. This is another one that I used to really, really love. And I think this one was around before Scentsy Club was a thing as well. And it's coconut vanilla orchid. I feel like that's why I'm really excited about this particular Bring Back My Bars because there's so many different scents. Um, a lot of times we get into the habit of voting back our same favorite scents, you know, happy birthday and like those types. They're so good, but it's kind of nice every once in a while to get a Bring Back My Bar 
are that's completely different. So um, I feel like the vast majority of these we haven't seen back for a while. So Coconut Vanilla Orchid is one of those. So really, really pretty. I remember this one. And like I said, I, don't, I think when it was around, Sunsea Club wasn't a thing, but I remember really liking it. Yeah, it's so good. <laughs> very um it's it's vanilla you get that tropical floral that comes through and then that coconut adds to it it's so pretty oh it's so pretty okay coconut vanilla orchid orange zest coconut milk and silky vanilla orchid i would agree oh it's so pretty gosh my, I, maybe I, I might have to do a top 10 <laughs> we'll see I'm, I'm i'm making a pile that i love 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 and i may have to just pare it down and, and give you my top six it's gonna be hard <laughs> it's gonna be really hard forever yours this one i do remember as being um one that i really really enjoyed as well so forever yours oh yeah oh this is so pretty this gosh these are totally like just throwing me way back like giving me some like nostalgic feelings i'm just i'm here for it this is so pretty and i am getting kind of like berries and lemons again with a little bit of a floral so pretty so pretty oh man another like perfumey type scent that i would totally personally wear so Forever yours, sweet creamy lemon. Okay, at least we're here now. <laughs> at least I have. At least I finally picked up a scent that it's. It, I shouldn't say finally, but blackberry orange marmalade. I was totally off on. Um, Forever yours, sweet creamy lemon and enchanting jasmine, a rhapsody of devotion. So I would agree with that. Gosh, it's so pretty. Oh, it's so so pretty. So that is forever yours. <sighs> Okay. Um, okay. This one, this next one, love you very much. I don't remember this one. I don't know when this was out previously, but I just don't remember it. And I love berry scents. So I don't know. Love you very much. Let's sniff it out for the first time together. I, I mean, I probably have smelled this at some point, but I just, I don't remember it. Oh, that's nice. This is a sweet tart berry scent. There's no added floral, there's no added bakery. It's just, it's just berries. It's really nice. It's like I said, kind of sweet and tart. So love you very much. Bursting red berries, dreamy white peach and tart cranberry finish with a splash of vanilla. There, if you're someone who you don't like vanilla scents, this, the, I don't detect the vanilla in this whatsoever. Um, but I do like the berries, the sweetness of the berries, sweetness of the peach that's in there. And then that tart cranberry just kind of like zings through and it's really nice. It's really, really nice. So if you like those kind of like summer, uh, fruity berry kind of scents, but you don't want bakery, you don't want floral, you just want fruity, um, without it being like straight fruit punch, you're going to love this one. So love you very much. Okay, next one, which was I do remember was a previous scent of the month, and it was Summer Rain. And this one I don't remember a ton about. I remember I, I remember it was kind of aquatic and clean, I think. Yep, it's aquatic and clean. <laughs> it kind of gives me... It kind of gives me some, like, thunderstorm kind of vibes. Really nice. Really nice, um, clean, like I said, clean, aquatic, different than like beachy. We've got a lot of kind of beachy scents that are out right now where you've got that, you pick up that like sea salt air kind of note. That's not this. This is just clean and aquatic. Kind of, so yeah, kind of along the same lines, um, even as like ocean. So same, same type of thing, really nice. Summer Rain, and I do remember that this one was a pretty good performer, if I remember correctly. So, Summer Rain, dew sprinkled cyclamen, fresh botanicals, and a pinch of black lava salt. So, very interesting that um, there's a pinch of black lava salt in here. Hmm. Don't know what that smells like, but and here I am, I'm like, there's no like salty, like sea air. <laughs> it's like, well, there's black lava salt, whatever that smells like. But no, it's, if you like those like clean aquatic type scents, I think you'll really like Summer Rain. 
Okay, moving right along. Next one is Blondewood and Moonflower. And this one, I remember, I remember it. I remember it as being very powdery <laughs> and kind of um, grandma smelling a little bit, <laughs> just from what I remember. But let's take a gander. I actually don't hate this. <laughs> I actually don't hate this. You know what I might be thinking of? Wasn't there field there was like a field of gold or field of marigolds or something maybe that's what i'm because it was like the same kind of color vibes um blonde wood and moonflower this gives me like cashmere kind of vibes if you like cashmere scents in fact i think i actually have here we go well this is cashmere pear cashmere pear is different but yeah if you like cashmere type scents i think you're really gonna like this this is sophisticated, powdery in the sense of it smells like like a cashmere kind of scent. But it's it's good. I don't hate this. I thought I was gonna hate this. <laughs> I I was like, I mean, may, maybe my maybe my tastes are changing, or maybe I have this mixed up with something else. But um, there is kind of a powdery note. I, like I said, if if you know what I'm talking about when I say if you like cashmere scents um you'll really like this if you don't like those types of scents you're not gonna like this but it's good it's really good and kind of sophisticated so blondewood and moonflower now i'm super intrigued to read the description with you guys so blondewood and moonflower pale warm wood and amber envelop demure moonflower delicate white roses and uh, upturned lilies so it's definitely a floral um, there is a woodsy note in here. The amber, I feel like, does add some sweetness to it. But it's good. It's actually good. Is it going to be club worthy for me? I don't think so. But I may order... Well, I've got this bar. We'll see what happens. Because I think I, I think I remember this was like a powerhouse too. So we'll see what happens. I may pick up a couple bars before the Bring Back My Bar promotion is done. Don't think I'm going to add it into my club only because I can't add all the things. You guys have already seen how outrageous my Scentsy Club is. <laughs> okay, so moving right along, the next scent is already in my club. So it, it, I actually kind of like it when I see a scent that's already in my club because then I know I don't have to add to my club. <laughs> I'm like, it's already in there. It is Cotton Candy Cookie. And I know I've got some sweet friends who are so excited for this one to come back because it has been a minute. I think the last time this was back was actually during an Easter collection. And you guys, if you have been hanging around with me, you know how much I love this scent. And as of recently, I've actually been going through quite a few of my bars because I knew that this was coming back. <laughs> so I was like, if I need to like restock, I know it's coming back, but oh, cotton candy cookie. It is not like anything else out there. This, it smells like the county fair. <laughs> it's so good. Scentsy nailed the county fair in one clamshell. It's amazing. This, it smells like sweet cotton candy meets a rich like sugary buttercream almost um like cookie you get that like bready cookie note but the sweetness the like overwhelmingly sweetness of cotton candy it's so good it's so good <laughs> i love this one so um definitely would highly recommend if you love a good bakery scent if you like that like county fair kind of vibe um you gotta give this one a try. Cotton candy cookie, like I said, it's so good. It's already in my club, but I am so happy this is returning um, because I know I've got a few of my girlfriends who are like, oh man, bring back the cotton candy cookies so I can add it into my club. So, oh goodness. All right, next one. Oh, did I even tell, I didn't even tell you. <laughs> I'm like, that's my description and I'm sticking to it. Okay, cotton candy cookie is described as little hands clutching cotton candy and cookies while gooey treats topped with sugared raspberries beg to be tasted. There you have it in a nutshell. <laughs> All right, next one is French toast. Totally perfect as like a kitchen kind of scent. Fresh in the morning. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, this is good. Dang it, I did not think I was gonna have to add this one to my club. 
Oh, this is making, it's giving me fall vibes. Oh, you guys, we're not even in summer yet. <laughs> we're not even in summer yet and I'm just wishing for fall. Oh, this smells so good. It's, it's perfect. It's perfect. Oh, French toast. Oh, good golly. Oh, that's, that's delicious. <laughs> I feel like Scentsy is making up with this bring back my bar for the fact that they have demolished the bakery section in the seasonal catalog. I feel like we're making up for it here for bring back my bar <laughs> because we have some great bakery scents for sure. Okay. French toast is a perfect light slice of bread dunked in golden egg batter, dusted with powdered sugar and finished with a swirl of sweet maple syrup. And yes, yes, yes. It is sweet. It is bakery. You get a little hint of spice. You get that maple syrup that's not overwhelming. Maple syrup or maple scents can be overwhelmingly sweet a lot of times and it's done very, very easily. This is a perfect balance. It's a perfect balance. Dang it, I was, not, I was not planning on adding this to my club, but I might actually have to. <gasps> French toast, there we have it. You guys, I'm gonna need some help from you. <laughs> okay, my only sunshine. This one I'm really excited to know that it's coming back because I do remember, I remember this one and I remember how different it was. I remember it was very summery and very different. Again, I think this was around before before Scentsy Club was a thing, um, but I remember I really, really liked it. So let's see. It's so pretty. Again, again with the pretty, it's a pretty, summery light floral again one that i feel like i would wear as a perfume <laughs> oh my gosh how i've got what three of these now that i'm like yes just doubt four i think just douse it all over me <laughs> it smells so good it's a it's a really pretty summery sweet floral but it's and it's different i know i'm like oh it's a sweet floral it's a sweet but they're they're all very different i would say if you like sweet florals build yourself a bundle of these bring back my bar sweet florals they're all very different and totally worth trying oh my gosh okay my only sunshine this is described as start your day with a smile as you experience golden tuberose i am shocked tuberose um, and jasmine balanced by sandalwood, vanilla, and glowing amber. The sand, I am such a sucker for scents that have sandalwood, vanilla, and amber in them. And so that's where I think this, it's, it's a good balance. It's really done well. So my only sunshine. Okay. Can we just have a moment for this next scent? <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. Okay. This scent, if I had to only pick one scent out of this entire lineup to be added to my club, this would be it. If you are someone who voted for this scent to come back for Bring Back My Bar, you have officially become my best friend. <laughs> and if you wind up hating it, I am so sorry. I did get a message from my girlfriend, Joanna, and she was like, listen, I love you, but this scent, I cannot do. <laughs> I'm just like, wait, what? You guys, I feel like I'm dreaming the fact that I see a brand new bar in front of my face. <gasps> Very Perry Pumpkin. Very Perry Pumpkin, you guys. We did it, we did it, we made it come back. And thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my, of my heart for anyone who voted for this scent to come back. You have no idea what this means to me. Thank you. Now, let's just make sure it's the same scent and they're not like okay we're just gonna stick uh what was that perfect pumpkin pear in a very peri pumpkin clamshell no 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 that will not fly with me luckily i live close enough to sensi headquarters now they would find me at their front doorstep and i'd be like wait a minute okay it's everything oh it's so good i was gonna say it's everything i remember i am hoarding the last few bars that i have of this scent Oh, it's so good. It's so good. 
I cannot believe I'm holding a brand new bar of this because this is an old one. <laughs> this, is, this one was actually a scent of the month, I think before I was even a consultant. It's fall perfection. There's no spice. It is just pumpkins and pears and it is perfect. I love it. Oh, I love it. It's sweet pumpkin, juicy pear. And I'm, I'm sorry for my girlfriend Joanna. She was like, it just smells like baby food to me. And I'm like, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's like maybe because I don't have kids, I don't smell baby food. I don't know. But oh, this is so good. It's everything to me. And I am so excited that it's back. I'm just, oh, my heart just goes pitter patter. Very Perry Pumpkin will absolutely make my must have list. And this is described as earthy, savory pumpkin, tart green apple, sweet nashi pear, and toasty roasted spices. This is where I disagree. There's no spice in this. There's no spice in this. It's just pumpkin and pear. Oh man, this just, it makes my heart so happy. You have no idea. Well, you might have an idea because you've been watching me gush over this for the last like couple of minutes. Oh, it's so good. Uh, okay, getting through to the last couple of cents here, you guys. Okay, next one is blueberry pancakes. And this one, um, I do remember, I think I actually still have one bar left of this. Um, it's different than what I expect blueberry pancakes to smell like, only because I feel like I remember there's like a spice note in this. Um, yes. And it's not that I dislike it. I do, the, the blueberry is definitely predominant in here. I do feel like I get like a maple note, but then there's also like this spice note in here. That's just a little bit different, but it's good. It is good. I just don't typically tend to reach for this type of scent very much. Um, it, it's bakery and I, I am, I'm a, I'm a bakery girl. I love me some bakery, but this, this is just, it's good, but it's not one that I like crave, if that makes sense. But for those of you who do crave it, it's coming back. So blueberry pancakes. This is described as blueberry and butter acorn over light maple make the mood. So um, I do pick up, I do pick up, does it say that there's, it doesn't even say that there's any spice in it. So I'm, I'm just, my nose might just be going rogue here, but it's good. So blueberry pancakes. There you have it. Okay, uh, next one. And this is one that came in and out of my club several times, cutie pie cupcake. So this is gonna be another one that I'm gonna have to fight myself with <laughs> because I can't help a good cake scent. And this is a fantastic cake scent. So it is a an orange, it's an orange cake. It's a citrusy cake. It's really, really nice. Um, and this, if you are wondering, and this is what I'm going to have to do. I'm going to have to warm back to back Clementine cupcake and this, cause when I warmed Clementine cupcake, I feel like I liked that better. The performance was okay on that, but the performance on this is really good. So I'm going to have to maybe reconsider some things, but I love me a good cake scent. So cutie pie cupcakes. So happy that this one is making a return. And this is described as sweet clementine and yellow cake batter with vanilla and sugary icing. I feel like if you like clementine cupcake, you should pick this one, this one up and give it a try too. Mm, so good. Okay. Next one we have is inner peace. And I don't remember this one. I feel like it sounds familiar, but I don't at all remember what this smells like at all <laughs> so it's a white wax in case you're interested in that this it reminds me of something this what does this remind me of it's kind of medicinal in that it kind of smells like just breathe like it has that kind of like eucalyptus kind of cooling effect with this kind of green kind of menthol-y kind of yeah is there even like maybe some lemongrass maybe in this there's a lot of like earthy green notes to this it's also very cooling like i think there might be eucalyptus in this so let's take a gander here inner peace earthy wood notes with the 
unmistakable scent of lemon groves and rejuvenating cypress. So it's that, that lemony citrus that's coming through. Um, yeah. I think if you like earthy green scents, I think you'll probably, probably really like this, this and bamboo yuzu. Uh, but the, I am still sticking to, there's like a cooling besides the lemon groves. I feel like there might be some like hint of eucalyptus or something in this too. So, um, that is inner peace. Okay. We've got two more, you guys. Next is pineapple, coconut, vanilla, and this may or may not smell familiar to you because we have it in the body line currently. So if you love pineapple, coconut, vanilla in the body line, you can now get it in wax. So this may not be a first sniff for a lot of you. Um, yep, there it is. <laughs> it's that signature body, uh, that signature body scent. It's so, so good. You get the pineapple, you do get the coconut, you get the vanilla. It's exactly what you expect when you smell it. And it's done so, so well. It's a perfect balance with it. It's done really, really well. So this is described as pineapple, coconut, vanilla, coconut, pineapple blush, and blue fig. There you go. It doesn't get more simple than that, right? So really, really good. Very simple, but really, really pretty. Okay, last one, you guys, last one for this Bring Back My Bar is going to be Zeppelin. And this is kind of a silvery gray wax. And I don't, I mean, I've seen this scent around before, but I don't remember exactly what it smells like. It's another kind of man, colony, masculine kind of scent. Um, really it's it's nice if you like those like masculine type cologne type scents I feel like you'll really like this kind of earthy kind of cologne if you will so zeppelin is described as refreshing citrus green sage uh, herbaceous vetiver and earthy sandalwood I would agree with that so if you like earthy zeppelin <laughs> there you have it so that is all 25 of the bring back my bars that are going to be available starting June 1st. Now I am accepting pre-order. So if you would like for me to place your order for you on June 1st, as soon as these scents are made available, I do have a, an order form linked down below in the description. You'll see in the order form, just the option for buying the entire bundle of a hundred and $126 for all 25 bars. But if you want to do a three bar bundle or a six bar bundle or what have you just scroll down to the bottom of that form and just let me know what bundle you would like and what you would like in your bundle. And I'm more than happy to place the order for you. Otherwise these scents are going to be available for the month of June. So exciting. And like I said, you can bundle all of these bars, which is a great deal or you can do the three bar bundle or the six bar bundle. Just make sure if you're going onto my website or your consultant's website, you go into the specials tab and you go to bundle and save. That's where you're going to be able to see the different bar bundles. Now we have the hard part. <laughs> you have to choose my favorites. Okay. Well, what do I have right here? I've got two, four, six, eight, 10, 11. I, <laughs> I chose 11 of my like must haves. Okay. Let's okay. We got to pare it down. Very Perry Pumpkin, hands down, has to have. Okay. Oh, Very Perry Pumpkin, Lemon Coconut Chiffon. Am I, am I doing six? Am I doing six? Am I doing 10? Doing 10, I just get one, rid of one. I'll give you my top six. Okay. It's so hard. They're all so good. Okay. Very Perry Pumpkin. Focus. Um, mm, cotton Candy Cookie. Oh, but see, it's hard. <laughs> because I'm like, but cotton candy cookies in my club right now. <sighs> but it's so good. I think if it wasn't in my club, it would have to be in my club. But I'm just I'm going to think about that one just for a second. Um, okay, am I going to do love and happiness or flower child? Oh, gosh, that's good. Love and happiness makes me feel some kind of way. <sighs> love and happiness. Okay, love and happiness. Um, could man caramel vanilla delight because it's such a good okay we're already at four okay two more two more scents oh man that forever yours is so pretty hmm? <laughs> man i gotta do that french toast you guys 
I, this wasn't even really on my radar and now it's making my top six must have. Okay, oh, last spot. What are we gonna do? My only sunshine? Man, that's good. Coconut vanilla orchid. Gosh, that's so pretty. Buckleberry. I feel like I'm covering fall with the pumpkin and the French toast. So, am I gonna do my only sunshine? I'm gonna, do, I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna do, these are my six. <laughs> Can I give you seven? I just, I feel like I can't, I can't leave behind cotton candy cookie. The only reason why I'm like, not putting it in my top six right now. Let me, let me do eight. <laughs> I'm gonna do eight. Um, let's do... Yeah, okay, final answer, eight. I'm gonna give you my top eight. <sighs> Must-haves. Okay, very Perry Pumpkin. By the way, again, thank you so much if you were somebody who voted for this scent because you made my dreams come true. Um, number two, lemon coconut chiffon. Love a good lemon bakery scent. Love and happiness because it's absolutely beautiful and it makes me feel some kind of way that I just, I love. Uh, number one, two, three, four. Coconut vanilla orchid. Because I just love it. It's beautiful. Cotton candy cookie because I just can't not have that in my, in my, in my lineup. Uh, my only sunshine. This was the uh, summery floral scent. So good. French toast, which totally blew my mind here. Was not expecting to love this as much as I do. I thought the maple was gonna be too much and it is absolute perfection. And last but not least, number eight is Caramel Vanilla Delight. Because it's perfect, it's vanilla, it's rich, it's creamy, it's decadent, and it's fantastic. So those are my top eight. But I would say it's worth getting the bundle of all 25 bars for 126 bucks because so good <laughs> they are all so good so let me know down below which scent are you most excited to try out maybe you are trying some of these scents out for the first time maybe you're seeing one or two or three or four or five of your favorites come back let me know what you are most excited for for this round of bring back my bar i absolutely love hearing from you guys Thank you so much for hanging out with me today for yet another really long video. Uh, be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like this type of content. If you're new, please subscribe. If you're already subscribed, be sure to hit the notification bell. That way you stay up to date with all things Scentsy. All right, you guys, have an amazing day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.